This is classic Venice. There's a dude on a skateboard and he's got a remote control car. I don't really know what the purpose is other than to kind of let people know that he's got that in his wheelhouse. I always thought that Venice would be a great backdrop for a show. There have been other shows set in Venice, but I, I never felt like they truly captured the spirit of what it's like to be here. My character, Chip, he's kind of running away from his past a little bit. And in order to do that, he's, he sort of shapes his future by creating a new persona for himself. He's a stool maker by trade, but we kind of went out of our way to uh, in the show to make sure that um, you never saw a customer in there. It's actually based on a real furniture store that closed on Abikini years ago, and there was never anybody in there. We went to talk to him, and he's like, yeah, I'm going out of business. We're like, well, that makes sense. I wanted to tell a story about um, authenticity and um, reinvention. I've also felt like there's never been, I, I haven't seen anything that's really spoken to my experience in, uh, in recovery. I, I, I spent a, a number of years kind of playing characters that were much more arch and, and kind of bigger than life and, and not as tethered in the real world. I guess I just wanted to do something that was a little more relatable. You know, Joe Bluth couldn't really live in this world. No. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Joe, and in spite of how sort of bigger than life he is and, and uh, over the top, I've always thought of him as having this deeply flawed sort of human core center to him, you know? Joe wants to be loved, just like everybody else.